Hey, um, so I originally was coming on to talk about some stuff and a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Unfortunately, I can't do that right now. Um, earlier when I made the video about the heat, about how hot it was outside, I didn't know that my cat, not Hope, my other cat, Isaac, had been put to sleep. Um, he had some problems, he had kidney failure. He had hip dysplasia, and most of the days he was fine. Um, he was losing control of his bladder, and he couldn't walk up the stairs that much. But for the most part, he was happy and okay. I didn't get to say goodbye to him. So I guess today's topic is going to be about pets and what they mean to us and what do we do when we lose them when they go. After I found out that Isaac died and was gone, I had to leave my house so I went for a drive. I couldn't stop crying and I literally stood on my porch for like 20 minutes before I got in my car because I didn't want to, I didn't want to get behind the wheel knowing that I was basically just really, really upset. Um, so I stood there on my porch, you guys have seen my porch many, many times, and all of a sudden a hummingbird flew right in front of my face and that bush that's like right in front of my porch kept like pecking off of the leaves and eating the leaves and the hummingbird pecked at the leaves for a little while and then stopped and kind of flew over here and then kind of just buzzed around in front of me for a good half of a minute and then flew away. The only reason why I say that, because I haven't seen a hummingbird all summer. At all. None. And um, my grandmother loved hummingbirds. Loved them. And I immediately thought that it was my grandmother trying to tell me that either she was okay or that Isaac was in a better place. And I know that sounds really cliche or superstitious or spiritual or something. I don't even know. I'm not really spiritual. I don't really believe in anything like that, but that's the first time I've seen a hummingbird and my grandma used to feed them and, and just love them so much. And my mom too. Um, Hope over there um, has been really, really confused. She's been looking for him, for Isaac, all day. She doesn't understand where he is and, and where he went. And that makes me sad and that makes my heart break even more. I told myself that I was going to try to get through this video without crying, and I guess we'll see if it happens, but I don't, I can't make any promises to you. I want to ask you guys, I'm sure plenty of you have lost animals. Um, Isaac isn't the first animal that I've lost, um, but how do you feel? Feel. Like, what do you do to cope with your animal's loss? 
um, everybody always says, well, when you lose an animal, it's not the same as a human. And I get that, you know, but animals are very smart and Isaac was very, very smart and handsome. He had one green eye and one blue eye. Um, you guys may have seen him in some of my videos or on Instagram, I don't know. Hope's over there bathing herself. Um, but he was an amazing cat. Every morning he would come in my room and he would want treats because I always get them treats and uh, he would walk, you know, come walking in my room and I would give him treats. And he would always make this little noise after you gave him treats. He would go, me, me, kind of like he was saying, like, thank you. All the time. And he agreed with me on the heat because before the air conditioning was on, he was just laying in the middle of like the breeze, well, whatever breeze there was, whatever day of the summer. But yesterday he was just laying there in between doors, just exhausted from the heat. Um. So, I wanted to make this topic for a long time, but I really didn't know how because I'm not saying that you have to lose an animal to understand how to cope with it, but I guess it's easier to understand a little bit. I've lost dogs and cats since I was a child and um, it's hard but you don't really realize how hard it is until you're older somebody actually wanted me to make this topic a few months back talking about the loss of your animal and how it makes you feel and how you get through it and what you do I don't know what I'm going to do. It's only been a few hours since he's been gone. I believe that animals are our companions, our friends, our best friends, and they know us better than anybody else. I definitely know that Isaac has been my buddy for the past seven years six I think he was six but within the past like year him and I really really bonded um, because I was going through a loss you know of my relationship and he was really close with um, you know what I'm saying he was very close with the, the woman that I was in a relationship with and uh, they got along great and uh, she's the only one that I truly believe would understand how I feel right now because Isaac was her buddy as well. And um, so I texted her and told her that he died and he's gone. But thing of it is, is now I have to deal with it.
if it were up to me, I would have wanted to keep his ashes and put it around my neck or something. I really wanted to do that with my grandmother's ashes, but we didn't think about it until months down the line. It was so like crazy and chaotic after my grandmother died. Anyway, um, how do you guys cope with losing your animals? Like I said, I 100% believe that our animals know us better than anybody else. And they know when we don't feel well, and they know when something's wrong or when we're down. I definitely know that Hope knows when I'm not feeling great or when I'm sad. Um, she's been by my side all day. I went to go take a shower a little while ago, and I closed the door, and she was like... Never in my life have I seen her try to trample the door down <laughs> just because I was taking a shower and it wasn't in her sight. So it probably scared her, and especially since she can't find Isaac and she doesn't know where he is. But I just wanted to say that I don't, I'm not just making this video because he's gone or because I'm an animal activist, but I truly believe that our animals are amazing creatures and um, they deserve to be loved. So let me know what you guys do. Sorry, my eyes are really red and puffy. but. Let me know what you guys do. Have you lost a pet? What kind? Was it an animal, a dog, um, a cat, a bird, a guinea pig, what, well, anything? Let me know what it was. How, what was your relationship with the animal? How you coped with it and whatnot. Thank you for listening. I love you guys. Be cool, be kind, don't judge. Be kind to one another, be kind to yourselves. And, um, rest in peace, bud. Wherever he is, I love him. And he'll always be my buddy. Always. And, um, peace and love. I love you guys. Bye.